What's up, dude? Hey, can you, can you hold on a second? Okay, yeah, never mind. What's up? I, I thought it was you, man. How you doing? Good, how are you? It's good to see Look you. Look at you all trim. Yeah, man, come on. What are you doing around here? I'm doing my rounds. My agent's in that building over there, so I was just meeting with her for a little cool. bit. Cool, cool. Still with the same agent. Yeah. Got anything going on? Um, yeah, I got, you know, I'm just, I'm probably gonna be leaving town next week, you know, on a little hiatus, visit the folks, but, uh. How are they? She's, they're good. Well, tell your mom that she's gonna see me on TV next season. What, one of those stupid reality shows? No, no, no. It's like, um, for one of the major networks. Some guy, he, he saw me in, I think, Hail Mary and uh, yeah. loved what I did. And he cast me, he just said, come in, read. And uh, next thing I know, I had my table read yesterday and I'm on the series. And you know what, we should talk all about it. You know, uh, you still have the same number? Um, you know what, why don't you give me a call? Call me? I will, I will. I can't believe it's this. It's really good to see you, man. Shit, I can't believe I, I mean, this is great. All right, dude, take care. Okay, see you. all right. Trying to get a hold of you, man. Third time, third time this week. Gotta talk to you, man. Gotta, 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 gotta get together. We're gonna do it like in and out style again, or something like that. Hey, listen, I, I gotta, I gotta grab this call. Um, uh, call me. I don't. Hit me, hit me back. Holla back. All right. Hey, Morgan. Hi. How's the baby? She's so cute. I, I really, I really loved her time. Cool here by yourself? Good. Cause I gotta piss. Ha <laughs> ha, Maddie B. What's up, baby? Yo, man. What you been up to, man? Doing a damn thing. <laughs> Is that right? Doing a damn thing. So what's up? Look at you, man. You texting Denzel Washington? Uh... What's going on? <laughs> Nah, it's not like that, man. I got this whole, like, uh, two-week promo tour going on. Um, I think, so did you hear the radio um, interview? Nah, nah. Huh? You didn't tell me the, you know, where it was. Mm, how, what, what, so, so, so what's up with mom's though, man? How's she doing? She man? asked about you. I was like, I didn't know. I didn't know what to tell her, man. She's still making the apple pies, man? Yep. She's making them. Yeah, that's, that's real, real good, you know? I'm happy. I, I'm happy about everything. I really am, man. You know, I really am. Happy with everything about what? Yeah. You or me? No, I'm just, me? no, I'm just, I'm just happy that, uh, I'm happy that finally, you know, like, these dreams just, like, finally coming true. Um, damn, you know, this is publicist, man. Uh. Two minutes? You got two minutes for him, man? Let's just set a time, man. Let's just set a day and time, you know, let's just do that right now. Call your secretary? Come on, come on, man. No, seriously. You know what you mean? You got a secretary? I'll, ca I'll call her and I'll set it up. I got to run, man. I, I think the shuttle's outside waiting for me now. Um, I'm going to hit you in about two weeks, man, all right? And then they're on me, like I said. It's good to see you, man. You're looking good, man. Obviously, you're still balling. Damn, man. Yo, don't let it be that long next time. That's crazy. You finally made it, man. 
You know, you good to see you. you. Good to see you. We 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 made it. We made it, baby. We made it. You baby. made it. All right, two weeks and I'm gonna hit you. Okay. Yeah. Cool, man. Hey, hey tell moms to say hello. I'll tell. Okay. Her. All right, man. I'll tell. Her. Good All right, to see buddy. You, boy. throw me into LA and you're gonna throw me into an acting class and I'm gonna do a scene and you're gonna like my acting work then why am I here seven years later wondering was it all worth it? You talking about leaving? No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just regretting. Uh, I'm really regretting. I'm really thinking like what if I never had, where would I be in life if I had never decided to do this? I've spent seven years of my life right. as 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 sort of a someone who hasn't quite reached their dream. I knew you had a couple of tough months recently, but I didn't realize that that you were like at this point because yeah. Uh, I mean. Everything's good. I'm, you know, I'm I'm still grinding away. Uh, I'm still, you know, I'm, you know, everything's cool. I just, I, I just, you know, I, I value you as, you know, some somewhat of a somewhat of a mentor. Can I sit in the passenger seat real quick? Oh, I just actually no. You know, I can no, just, just yeah, just get out. No, let's yeah, let's go over here. Yeah. Okay. First of all, how are you still teaching? And yeah, stuff? yeah. How are the kids? Great. Good. It's great. Everything's great. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing really great. Good. Well. Yeah. <laughs> really great. Yeah. Okay. Um, good. Yeah. And uh, and a roommate? Uh, do you yeah. cook dinner? Well, I I'm I I live with Mike. 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 My, my my guy. Not the Mike. The F Philippe. No, no. Not Philippe. No, no. no. I just saw Philippe actually yeah, yesterday, yeah, so how is he? he's good. Wow. Okay. And uh, and everything's good with. I mean, everything's good with me. Like as far as yeah. you know, 
you know, the, the, like the film, the, you know, that film I did was, is kind of like we're editing it. That's and, great. Uh, That's great. And, you know, and I'm still... Sure, why? So... I don't... You know, <laughs> and it's like, how does someone, like, desperately want to get somewhere, but yet it's never going to be within reach? If you wake up and you no longer authentically have a need to express the love and the beauty and the strength and the courage and the it's all those wonderful things that you and I've shared in our conversations and our experiences when we've gone to see films and when we talked. If that's no longer inside you, that 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 need to just Give yourself over to a role. That's the only answer. That's the only reason that you can walk away from it. If there's anything inside you that still feels that same need that got you to come out here to be an actor in the first place, then you, you have to stick with it. But if that's gone, then that only means that the, you're going to find another means to, to, to fulfill that need that you have within you. I have, I have so many things. This week's been crazy. We we just we we, we 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 make a choice, and then years later we think, why did I do that? And that's and that's what I'm thinking right now. Especially this week, I'm like, why did I do that? Our lives would have been so different if I had just. Um, Matt, you don't have to. You don't yeah, need no, no, to. But, uh, it's but, okay. But no, but seriously. It's okay. It's well, okay. It's I, what I, I, I want. Well, I mean, how long did it take you to get over? It? I mean, I know it's a long wow, time. Wow, that's though. really not your business. Well, business. I, I feel no, like I really, I gotta go. I have okay. to make dinner I'm, and. Well, what and the, hold on, just, just take this. It's a Van Gogh. It's a car. Just read it. Okay. All I can say to you is that the place you're at right now with that sense of purposelessness or desolation or am I wasting my life, I have those same exact thoughts doing what I'm doing. But what if, what if all of a sudden acting dried up for you? What if all of a sudden you couldn't, you couldn't get an acting gig? I mean, what, what would you do? Would you start reevaluating it? It's, or would you? Uh, yes, I would have to. I mean, it would be essential, implicit, or else I wouldn't be able to survive. I love you for who you are. I know that sounds trite. Coming out here to this town, billboards everywhere, movies and this and that, people's salaries and all bullshit that people esteem growing up in the right car, the red car, fuck all that shit. It's not even about anybody else. I I think less of myself. You know, I'm never gonna get rid of that bitterness towards myself for not fulfilling the dream that I set out to. So. And that's your answer. You're not ready to walk away. I honor that. I respect that. Trust that truth inside yourself. Trust that truth. Because all that truth is going to come pouring out one day and somebody's going to finally realize what you have to give. It's a lot, it's beautiful, and it's of value for you more than anything else. No matter what they do or how they choose to consume it. Let it stay. Let it stay pure. That's the greatest challenge out here. It's not getting a job, it's staying pure enough. To have it mean something when you do.